Second capital, we welcome. If the nation wants Hyderabad, always welcome such a move. We have you no have, objection for that. You have no objection if Hyderabad is made the, the second capital. The whole India comes to Hyderabad, we welcome it. We well, have no objection. Well, all of India is coming. Certainly, the IT sector and capital is coming to Hyderabad, uh, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao. But as you said, what is the secret? Is the secret formula then that small is beautiful? That in India, the smaller states are more likely to succeed in the future than the larger state. You made an interesting allusion there. You said, mm. over the last 10 years, all that we have heard in this country is the Gujarat model. Are you saying there is a Telangana model in this country which is far more successful than a Gujarat model and it's based on small is beautiful. The smaller states have a better chance of India uh, of succeeding in India than the larger states. Maybe all of India should have much, have many more smaller states. We should have Vidarbha tomorrow. We should have, you know, I know people in my home state of Maharashtra will attack me for this. But why should <laughs> Maharashtra be split also into a couple of states tomorrow? I beg to disagree once again with you. Because Telangana is a, not a smaller state. We pleaded. There are 17 states which are smaller than Telangana. It may be a surprise to people to know. We are bigger than West Bengal. We are bigger than Bihar, as per our geographical contours are concerned. In your, in your land area. Yes. But your population is much Population smaller. is also, we stand at 12th place in the country. We are not small. I dispute with you. We have been pleading during the course of agitation also to convince people, to convince the then Prime Minister, to convince Simati Sonia Gandhi and so many others like you I was arguing there we are not going to be a smaller state. And we proved to be otherwise. We are bigger than any other state in the country in at least 15, 16 areas. So you tell me what is this Telangana model that you believe is superior to Gujarat? One Why day, is Telangana in your view one, superior one to Gujarat? One day I was model? talking to Arun Puruji over the phone. I have requested him to come down to Hyderabad. I have requested him to come down with some senior journalists so that I can arrange an helicopter for him so that he can go around Telangana state and see personally what is happening here. We made a stride of identifying the human resource with a different trend. Let me tell you a beautiful story. It, is, it was for me to stir up the rural economy. As the other journalist was mentioning, just before you came onto the dais, Hyderabad city being very big, one of the big metros of the country, big metros of the world also, and the state of Telangana. When we incepted, Telangana state used to import about 650 lorry loads of sheep every day. Every day. Sheep used to come from Rajasthan, so many other states in the country. We have designed such a beautiful program and it is proved to be so successful. We have taken up that particular work in a mission mode and secured a loan of 5,000 crores from the NCDC. Then we started distributing the sheep. People were laughing at me initially. Today, I can tell you, successfully, we have implemented that program by way of distributing 38 lakh sheep today, and the lambs born to them are another 13 lakhs. Telangana today added 50 lakh sheep population <coughs> when it, <laughs> after the inception of the state. And the sheep is a moving bank. Moving bank. I can say it's a moving bank. Telangana will start exporting meat, processed meat, very well processed meat to the entire country and to all the foreign countries also. Very shortly we'll start that. So basically if Gujarat has the lion, Telangana has the sheep. No problem. <laughs> right? Okay, that's, that, that's... Lion or sheep doesn't matter. Only thing is who makes the fast buck is the matter. <laughs> well said. You know... It's, it's creating wealth. That really matters, no? You know, you, you have an interesting model here. Because what I see is, Rajdeep, in, let me, let me in, al te let, in Telangana... No, let me also yes. mention here. Yes. At one point in time, I was propagating, because when we incepted, the power situation was very grim. It was really very tough. Yes. But we could overcome the crisis in such a manner. Within six months of time, we started supplying 24 hours power for the industry and 10 hours power for the agriculture. 24 our power supply to the domestic needs. Today, I am proud to say, 
our installed capacity when we incepted was only 6,000 megawatts of power, out of which 2,800 megawatts was the hydel power, which was not a firm power. Now today the installed capacity of Telangana is about 14,000 megawatts. And very shortly, by the year 2020, the installed power capacity of Telangana is going to be 28,000 megawatts. You throwing these figures at me when I see you telling me about these schemes and the timetables. You seem to be part of this new generation of chief ministers who are determined in a way to take their state up and compete with other states. Now, forget about the Gujarat model versus Telangana. That's the that's the lion versus the sheep. Is it's there also is there also competition, Mr. Chief Minister, somewhere between you and Chandra Babu Naidu? Is there somewhere he wants to make An An Amravati and Andhra the showpiece for the future? You want to make Hyderabad and Telangana the showpiece for the future. Kahi na kahi, is that old rivalry still there? This time for the positive that you are competing with each other. If he irrigates so much of land, you will irrigate more. Sorry to dispute once again with you. No, you are because, why? Because you cannot compare Telangana with Andhra. You cannot compete. He see, tells see, me the see, other way around. He, he says, he, he, I am starting today. a new state. At least uh, K. Chandrasekhar Rao had the benefit of Hyderabad. Rajdeep, it's not the question of benefit of Hyderabad. What was there in Singapore? Except the human intellectual. What was there? You and I know very well. The world knows very well. Today, what is the price of the Singapore dollar? How they, how they could? They had no landmass. They have no mines. They have no forests. They have nothing except brain. With their brain, where there was nothing, they have created a lot of wealth and they have become a role model under the leadership of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. That's the best model. And I'm sorry, please do not compare Telangana with Andhra Pradesh. Because we, are all, we, we were a surplus state when we were a, an independent state called Hyderabad. We were pleading all through the agitation that once separated, we will be in the first two or three or four states bouquet. Okay. And I'm there today not in the three, four, but as a number one state, as far as our own resources is concerned. Yes, it's not my figures, Rajdeep. I am, I am not proclaiming. These are the things declared by Finance Ministry, Government of India. So no competition between Telangana and Not at all, it cannot be. You've already moved ahead. Yes, we are much ahead. <laughs> not mere ahead. Much, much ahead. What is this video? Please like this video. Please comment on this video. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to our channel.